and said, no way at 6'9", Irvin Magic Johnson can play point guard in college basketball. And I love when somebody say, I can't do something. Ooh. <laughs> that just gets me going. And so I was out to prove to them, not only that I could play point guard in college basketball, but I could change Michigan State into a powerhouse. First year we won the Big Ten Championship, we went all the way to the final eight. Kentucky beat us, and they went on and won the national championship. I was got to make a decision whether to turn pro or not. You young people in here, this is really important. Because sometimes you think you're ready for that raise in that new position. Your mind is telling you you're ready, but your expertise is not quite there yet. Mm. Because before you take that promotion, that new title, you better be ready to over deliver to the company, to the brand, to your clients, to your teammates that are in here today. That's very important. The most important thing you're going to always have to do when you work in corporate America is take self-evaluation of yourself. You got to run a swap of yourself, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And say, man, I am ready to step into those shoes that either somebody left behind or somebody who is not at the company anymore. And you got to be that best. Whatever your title is, you got to be the best at that. Got to be the best. So when they said to me, Kansas City called and said, I want to pick you number one. At 18 years old, I wasn't ready to turn pro. So I decided to stay in school. Mentally and physically, I wasn't ready. So I decided to go back. Plus, it was one more thing I had to do. Stand on up, little man. What's your name? Adam. Wow. You are a little man, too. <laughs> Still trying to see where Adam is. <laughs> okay, Adam. So Adam, I went back to school. We go all the way to the national championship game, and I'm playing this blonde here guy. <laughs> Adam, I still hate him today. If he walked in here right now, it would be on. You got that, Adam? You with me? Okay, cool. Come get a picture, my man. Let one of your friends take a picture. No, grab your phone. We're going to take a selfie. Let me see him. And he said, wow. I didn't think of that. And I had to take it to the board. The board passed it. And we did this deal. Stand on up, young lady. What's your name? Emily. Emily. So, Emily, we shook hands, signed the contract. So now Magic Johnson is going to own Starbucks and build them in urban America. First one, because they don't do franchisees, so I told him I want to be his partner, right? So in the headlines in the LA Times, says, no way minorities are paid $3 for a cup of coffee. <laughs> and we will pay $3 for a cup of coffee, but we quite don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so Emily, we had to take the soft scones out of my Starbucks. <laughs> Sweet potato pie, pie. <laughs> Things that resonate with the urban consumer. You with me? <laughs> What's your favorite music group? Because you, I know you like music, so who you like? Dave Matthews? Yeah, so I had to take Dave Matthews out of my school. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to work. I'm not telling you. But Prince, Michael Jackson, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Lionel Richie, that's going to work with me. Bruno Mars, that's going to work with me. You with me? Yeah. Okay. You, you don't mind me. So you come to an inner city Starbucks, that's what you're going to hear. You won't be mad. I'd rather come to the earth. <laughs> he, he didn't understand that. He should have just said, I'm a Lego fan. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, she can get in. Come on, your friends say get in. <laughs> your boss? That's smart. <laughs> no. Season tickets? Uh, 
Uh, no, no, I can't afford that. <laughs> you know what, Brian, what I'm gonna do for you? You gonna come down when the Giants play the Dodgers, I'm gonna hook you up, bring four friends with you, I'm gonna give you the tickets. <laughs> You don't have a car? <laughs> they know you. What the fuck that supposed to mean? I'm gonna give another giant fan that got a car. You lost out. You just lost out to Ursula. Hey, look, 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 take it. <laughs> Bill Worker, you know Bill Worker, give me a check. <laughs> Ursula, you just got the tickets. <laughs>
So esports is just taking off around the world. So again, if you don't know it, look it up because you you they're fascinating and their stories are fascinating. Now colleges are giving uh, scholarships, scholarships to universities now to focus on that. That's amazing how that sport is just growing. So. think that being a perfectionist, you'll come in and just, again, you will do it in terms of the right way, but also those who work with you and alongside of you will hopefully acquire that as well. Just doing everything the right way. And then uh, I think just your work ethic. You know, I, I, I've always outworked people and I continue to do that today. And I'm always living and doing things with a purpose. I think it's, it's really important. And then I never settle for being the second best. I always want to do things, uh, be the best, and do things in a great way. And so I'm competitive as you know what. And so my wife is so mad at me because I am competitive. And she wanted me to play my daughter, who at that time was a high school point guard. And I knew who I was. Remember I told you about self-evaluation, I know me. So I said, no. But when your wife asks you to do things twice, <laughs> you, then you better get to it. <laughs> so she asked me again, so I said, okay. So we go to 10. I let her get to nine, that was hard for me to do. And then I crushed her. <laughs> and so if my mother was here, I would crush her too. I let her get to nine and a half, but then I'm gonna win. And so that winning spirit has helped me to, and the better spirit has helped me to achieve things in life. And so, and I think that, again, you can't go where you want to go without being competitive. I'm talking to your own self, with your own self. Set goals. Set goals. Be goal driven. You know, I always set goals every year. And then I look up and say, okay. I can cross that off, I can cross that off, cross that off. And I think, again, that's, that's what great, great, greatness is all about. You take step further. Remember when he first came in, he couldn't do all the things he could do now, right? It took him about four or five years to get to where he is today. But every year, he got better, better, better. He always had the shot, but he didn't have those handles like he had now, right? And also, too, he has this in Right? He'll beat you with his head as well as his game. And so that's what I'm talking about. Is Steph Curry can get better, so can all of us in this room. So, so imagine one of the things that, uh, that we believe here, core to Okay. Out of the team. Oh, just friends? Okay. All right. Man, you look good. <laughs> Some weights, huh? Starting to, you got to do that. You see, because when magic put the bow on you, see how you do it. Yeah. 
stay with my wife. So she nudged me a little bit. And I told him, okay, I'll be there in 15 minutes. We played 10 games. <laughs> what did you think happened to him? <laughs> How many games did he give you? <laughs> Which one? <laughs>